energy warning. In the diagram, you can see here uh, the low energy warning is uh, software which gives you the audio warnings in case there is a energy is down of the aircraft to get the positive flight path through the pitch control. You will get the message like speed, speed, speed. And you have to attain the positive attitude. This will be inhibited below 2000 feet RA, right? It is inhibited when RA is greater than 2000. Means this warning will come when to radio altitude is less than 2000. Above that, it will not come. Or if aircraft is in the clean configuration also, it will not come. So during takeoff and landing, aircraft will never be clean configuration. That is for sure, All right? Below 2,000 feet, aircraft cannot be in clean configuration. Either it has to nose up or nose down. Right. So this is how the system flows these warnings so that you will see on the PFD as well as the audio warning will come to the loudspeaker, which is so this alpha floor or alpha floor computations will come to this or it may come from the landing low energy warning either of these two warning will come and will announce it you speed 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 so at a time either alpha floor or low energy will come right that will go through both fwc's flight warning computer one and speed protections it is a nice to know information speed protections i can give you a very good document if you want to read it but it is not for us it is mainly for the pilots only thing is we can understand what is the purpose of these uh, speed productions i tell you if you have seen the basic aircraft configuration basic design had you paid attention on the aircraft main instrument panel where the cell call is written registration is written mm -hmm. right there are certain speeds are also written. Did you notice sometime? Yes. BFE, BMO. Yeah. MMO. Correct? These speeds are written over there. BLS, BFE, BMO, MMO. These are the ma maximum operating speed for the aircraft configuration. If these speed exceeded, a special inspection is required because they are unsafe. Aircraft will be unstabilized, uncontrollable. Right. So they are the design speeds on which aircraft can fly below them, aircraft can fly, cannot fly more than them. So these characteristic speeds are a function of landing gear and of select flight and how they are represented to the captain, which you can see here. Right. The red color wherever you, you see it is a no-fly zone. It is a no-fly area, red color. This, you see the speed protection is active. Can you see here? The two green bars are there. Are you able to see? So this speed is there. At 360. I'm sure all of you know the indicators and the speed indications or any indications in the aircraft is different than your cars. Hmm? Yeah. Did I talk to you in the previous classes in uh, EIS chapter? If you remember, I'm not sure I have spoken to you or not. Any parameter in the aircraft displayed on any indicator has a different way of representation than normal indicators or our car indicators. Here the pointer is fixed and the scale is moving. You got my point? Yes. Yes. There are indications and your scale will keep on moving. Correct? Because the pilot can quickly see the indicator. Always his eyes is on the indicator, not the scale. And whatever the value is there in front of the indicator, that is his operating parameter. So you see this is fixed always. So your scale will keep up and down. Right? This is the current speed. This shows the trend. It means aircraft speed is reducing. After 10 seconds, it will be 320 knots. Correct? Secondly, you see the economic target. This is the target speed. And this is the economy of speed. It means you can operate the aircraft in this speed. 
based on the current aircraft configuration. Right, sir. MAC number will be displayed here, and this will always be available when the value is more than 0.5. If value is not 0.5, it will not be available here. It has to be minimum 0 0.50 for display. Like that, you will see some more speeds. These speeds are called as alpha protection speed, alpha max speed, MMO, maximum operating speed or speed corresponding to the MMO. Maximum MAC operating speed. Maximum operating MAC or maximum MAC operating speed, MMO. So these are standard values which is written on the main instrument panel. BMO, MMO, VLE, BFE. VLE is maximum landing gear extended speed. BFE is maximum flap extended speed. You will read in the landing gear chapter, there is a switch available for this speed in the ATVU, right? BLE switch is there, 260 knot. Aircraft cannot fly if this landing gear is extended. Aircraft cannot fly more than two knots. So that is the limit. So there is a test especially for that purpose. Similarly, decision speed B1, B2 and BR. I will show you these speed through the video. B1, B2 and VR. Decision speed B1 shown in the sign. The crew feed this value through the MCDU. When out of the indication range, it is digitally shown on the upper part of the scale. So this is only the lift of aircraft weight, runway length, so many things are there. Minimum slat retraction is speed. BFE next, green dot. Like that, so many speeds you will find here on the scale. But they will come as and when the situation is. It is not. It is occasionally based on the configuration. Green dot speed. Minimum flap retraction speed. Right? Minimum landing extension speed. Right. Alpha max. So these are all indications on the PFD scale indicated to the pilot. Right, sir. This is all nice to know speeds, uh, not really important for us. Mainly it is for the pilot. But yes, avionics engineer, you need to perform the test based on the AMM task. Correct. You have to check all these speeds, whether they are working or not working. Uh, before I proceed further, I will show you a small video for speeds. Yes, it was good. To understand about various speeds, what is the importance of those speeds? That is or by dedicated push button switch on the FCU flight control unit. There is an auto thrust single button is available with the help of that you can or the pilot can engage manually and the same can also be done automatically with certain conditions right same can also be done automatically with certain conditions thrust levers thrust levers are manually operated and electrically connected to the fedex electrically connected means with the help of proximity switches and resolvers right potentiometers and proximity switches are there micro switches not proximity switches are there so with the help of define their position where they are the thrust lever never move automatically like Boeing aircraft in Airbus these thrust lever will remain where they are they will not move but in the Boeing aircraft they move along with the they move along with the actual thrust value are you getting me if you have seen the Boeing it's aircraft it's the lever will move whatever the thrust is so they all keep on dancing 
But in Airbus aircraft, they will remain where they are. It's physically, they'll not move. Okay. Various detents are there. There are the three sections, forward sections, mid section, and rear section. The rear sector for the idle rivers and up to the max rivers. Right, forward section is then center section and zero to correspond to the idle thrust. Climb, climb thrust, forward section is the flex and toga. So forward section you will have a corresponding to the flexible takeoff thrust or maximum continuous thrust after an engine failure. I think all of you know about all these terms, flexible takeoff thrust and maximum continuous thrust. Toga is a takeoff and go around that is the maximum thrust engine can produce or the engine is designed for toga thrust. The FedEx compute the thrust limits. FedEx compute the thrust limits which depend on the position of the thrust lever. If both the thrust levers are in the same detent, then the thrust limit will be corresponding to the detent. If both the thrust levers are not in the same detent, then the thrust lever correspond to, sorry, the limit correspond to the higher detent. You understand this? What it says? If both the levers are in the same detent, means either the climb detent or flex MCT, whatever it is. So the FedEx will give the limit and that limit will be depending upon the lever, either same or if both are not in the same detent, then it will correspond to the next higher detent. It will correspond to the next higher detent. The FMGC select the highest thrust limit of FedEx 1 and FedEx 2 for thrust target computations. It is same what I discussed to you, the importance of thrust lever position before the break. You got it, guys? Yes. FMGC will always take the highest thrust limit of FedEx 1 and FedEx 2 for the thrust computations. Logic, auto thrust is a logic. First is engaged and not engaged. Engaged and not engaged. Engaged means what? Or, or active means what? Active, not active. What's your understanding about engaged? FD engaged, autopilot engaged, auto thrust engaged. What does it mean by engaged? Engaged means it follows the commands from uh, FMGC selection. Okay, and active? Active means uh, it's performing what uh, FMGC says. There is no any alteration or uh, other uh, input from other source. Okay, so active what you say, it will follow the FMGC command or target. Yes. Correct? Yes. If I understood right, then what yes. is the engage? That what is the engage? You have autopilot engage also. You studied yesterday. Autopilot engage and autopilot active. So I just want to understand the difference between the engage and active. Oh, sir, can I tell? Please, why not, sir? Enga uh, engaged means it is armed and it is waiting for some conditions to be met. And uh, when some, those conditions are uh, fully fight in the system, then that particular system like autopilot or maybe, I know, I'll not say autopilot, I'll say auto trust, for example, will be active into the system. Mohammed, Mohammed, you yes, are sir. not really audible. Sorry, sir, actually my inter internet connection I is getting low. You are I'm sorry for that. It's not clearly audible to me. Oh, I'm sorry for that, sir. Sir, I am audible. Am I audible now? 
हेलो